Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be setting up metadata navigation for lists and libraries. The intent here is to make it easier for end users to find their content when they're searching large lists and libraries. And rather than searching the lists and libraries, what we're going to do is expose the metadata for the lists and libraries and place that right beneath the quick launch on the SharePoint page. To do so, typically what you would do is you go into your document library or list, you go to the library settings, and you should be able to see manage metadata navigation, but I do not here in this case, <clears throat> which brings up a prerequisite. In order for us to set navigation on a page or a, or a list or a library, what we need to do is enable the metadata navigation feature, which happens to be a site feature. So what we're going to do is go to site settings, click on manage site features, go to the M's and look for metadata navigation and filtering and go ahead and activate that. Once that is activated, if we go back to your document library or list, click on library settings, you should now see metadata navigation settings. We're going to go ahead and enable that and we're going to say we don't want to see folders, what we'd like to see is content types. But before I do any of this, what I'd like to do first is go again to my site and go to site content types and I'm going to create my own content type and I'm going to call this classified documents just I'm creating a new content type you can obviously use an existing content type this is going to be based off of documents content type and we'll go ahead and click OK what I'm going to also do is I'm going to go to my uh, document library now and go to library settings and enable the management of content types and go ahead and click OK and then add that content type so under documents and I think I was in the right place library settings I'm going to go ahead and add from existing site content type look for my custom content type classified documents add go ahead and click OK let's do one other thing as well Let's go back to the uh, site settings and let's go to our content types and let's go and look for our custom content type. And let's add a few more columns to this content type. So we're going to add from a new site column. We're going to say this is going to be classification type. And this is going to be a choice. When documents are uploaded, they're going to get three options. They're going to get classification E. B and C so this is classification type and then we're going to add another column in here and we're going to say <coughs> classification author type assuming there's author types in here choice and this will also be author A author B author C and we're going to go ahead and click OK. So we've got just a couple of columns going on. So let's go back and go back to our subject. We're going to go to the list, to the library in here. We're going to go to the library settings. And we're going to go to metadata navigation settings. And these are the available fields for us that we can filter by. So we're, again, we, I don't want to filter by folders, but I do want to filter by content type, as well as classification type and classification author type. And then I want to apply the filter fields. So these are basically uh, going to be available dynamically for users to uh, search by. Again, we're going to add classification type and content type. And maybe the created by as well. All right. And we're going to go ahead and click OK in here. So now if I go back to my documents, on the left-hand side, you're going to notice that I can search by, well, show me by content type, and I can choose my content type. And I can say by classification type, and I can also search by classification author type. And if I want to run a filter, I can run a filter in here as well by all the fields that I've selected in my filter criteria. So let's go ahead and, and upload some documents in here. We're going to come in here and upload a document. We're going to browse. We're going to look for a document, and we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we are going to say this is of, class, of content type classified document. And then the uh, classification is A, and the author is AA, and the title is same thing. 
user mapping file, go ahead and save this. So now we've saved, added a document. So assuming we have thousands of these, which is what you get on your end, you can come in here and say, I want to search by classified documents. That may be your search, and we should have that one document. Or you may want to say, I want to do by classified documents as well as show me everything that's AA and AB and apply a filter. Now, obviously, that doesn't meet our, meet our search criteria, but if we say AA and A, which is what the document is, and click apply, we should be able to see this document. So this is the metadata navigation for a list or library. Again, when you have thousands of items in this list, this is going to make it much easier for end users to find their content because they can run filters based on content types or run filters based on the uh, schema of that specific content type. This concludes this video. Thanks for tuning in.